Thank you so much, Chelsea. New this morning, it's a law that many of us probably don't know about, and state troopers are reminding you about this important traffic law because it doesn't get a lot of attention. WTVA's Avery Hillier is live on I-22 in the Union County area with more on Mississippi's move over law. Avery, what does this law mean for us drivers? <laughs> Yeah, Michelle, Mississippi's move over law was written to help keep first responders working highway accidents and emergencies safe. Now, the move over law has been on the books since 2007. It was updated in 2012, but a lot of drivers don't know how much about it. The law requires drivers to move over or to move to another lane. It's another, there's, that's if there's an emergency vehicle on the shoulder of the road. There are signs reminding drivers about the law on major highways and interstates. Now, failing to move over can cost you. Fines range from $250 to $1,000. It's basic common sense, but moving over reduces the possibility of a serious crash from happening. It's not just for troopers. This is for any law enforcement, MDOT workers, uh, garbage trucks, postal carriers, you know, uh, wreckers, anything like that. You know, when they're on that shoulder of the road, what we want folks to do is just, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're able to move over, move over. Now troopers understand there might be times when you can't move over. Maybe an 18 wheeler or another car is in the other lane. They get that, but troopers say if you can't move over, at least slow down. Now I am on the shoulder of the road. I'm right in between my news car, which is right here, and then I-22. Now just imagine that my car is an emergency vehicle. They want you to get over to that left lane. Put your blinker on and get up to the left lane. Again, if there is an 18-wheeler or another car in that lane, they do want you to slow down. Now we do have cars. The car just went by me and he didn't move over, but they want you to slow down. Live in New Albany, Avery Hillier, WTV. 9 News.